Here, uh, in this video, we'll find the solution of uh, chapter 3, objective 1, and question number 1 of S.C. Verma, the concepts of physics. And this problem will be helpful for IITG students, NEET students, and CBSC class 11th and 12th students, and other board students as well. So let's begin with the problem. Thank you. A motor car is going due north at a speed of 50 km per hour. It takes a 90 degree left turn without changing the speed. The change in the velocity of the car is about. And we have to find the direction sports options are given. So there are two velocities given. One is the speed of 50 km per hour due north. So magnitude is given. Magnitude is given and direction is given. Another velocity is same speed without changing the speed and a new direction. So in this question we have to find the change in the velocity. So change in the velocity is difference of the final velocity minus initial velocity. So final velocity is given it makes a 90 degree left turn without changing the speed so this is our final velocity b and let's a be the initial velocity and the values are given a has the magnitude 50 km per hour and b has the same magnitude of a but a different direction is there all right so in these kind of questions change in velocity means we have to find b minus a the change in the velocity and if you see the diagram both the velocity originates from the same point let this point be o this is possible and this we have to do because whenever we add or subtract the velocities using the parallelogram law we start both the velocities from the same point we join the tails of the velocity now what is b minus a b minus a is actually b plus minus a so actually we are adding two velocities what is b and plus minus a so let's add it so first we have to find what is minus a a is given so minus a will be simply in opposite direction of the same magnitude just the direction changes reverse the direction we do the reverse of the direction because this is a minus a will be just reverse of it opposite of it so if it is going due north we have to make it due south and just see here what we have to find b minus a the change in the velocity so we are join uh, we are adding b and minus a now simply we can use the parallelogram law in which we make the parallels of the vector and the final velocity of these two vectors will be diagonal of the parallelogram originating from the tails and this is I just want to make it more clear I will put use another color so this is B minus A So what we see the direction of the new vector is south and west it is within this between south and west option B is talking about southwest and now we'll find the magnitude if it is 70 km per hour or not and for that we can use the 
magnitude of the final velocity magnitude of the final velocity which is it should be under root a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta this is the magnitude of the addition of vectors this you can check in my other video where I have discussed about how to add two vectors and this is the simple formula for that and what is A and what is B are the magnitudes of A and B which is already given 50 km per hour and what is theta here theta is important to know theta is the angle between the given vectors so angle between the given vectors is simply 90 degree between B and minus A is given 90 degree so theta is 90 degree so cos 90 degree is 0 so that's why 2AB cos theta this term will be cancelled because it is 0 so we'll have to focus only on A square and B square which is A is 50 so 50 square plus 50 square which is 50 under root 2 and which is approximately 70 km per hour so uh, the answer is correct answer is 70 km per hour towards southwest option B